What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Grogu. And so here we have Grogu pose and out of the packaging. Before we have a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories. Grogu here does come with several accessories. We do get his pram, which looks really nice. I like the fact that it is a different pram than the one we got with the Target exclusive figure. He does come with his Mythosaur pendant, which also looks really nice. He does come with his little bag of cookies, which is a really nice accessory. And then he does come with the same three accessories that the original Grogu came with, which is the little ball, the frog, and the bowl. Other than that, Grogu here doesn't come with any other accessories, so with that out of the way, let's have a closer look at Grogu. So here we have a closer look at Grogu, and this is probably the fourth mold that we've had from Hasbro regarding Grogu, and it's him sitting down. Now we did get a sitting down Grogu with the Ahsoka and Mandalorian 3-pack, but this Grogu is in the sitting position, but his arms are out to the side, so it is a little bit different from that other figure. If I can just reach off screen and bring him out, you can see they don't share any similarities except for the head. I think the head is the only thing that they share. Maybe, no, not even the hands because his little hand is open while his are a little more tight gripped. So yeah, it does show that Hasbro is reissuing Grogu with different molds. I do like the fact that we get different expressions for Grogu with his uh, sitting and the way his arms are. but. Yeah, this is still a really small accessory. I don't really qualify this as a figure itself. I feel like Grogu should have been thrown in with Season 2 Mandalorian. Um, I could go without all those other accessories if we just got Grogu with Mando. So yeah, a little unfortunate that we just have Grogu here, but I do like the fact that he does have the two-toned robe, that we have a lighter coat right here on his collar and the cuffs of his sleeve and then we have like a darker color there but other than that it's a really simplistic figure there is really not much to talk about you can see they did add the rosiness to his face especially right here in his nose his ears are painted nicely and he does have the hair painted on unfortunately not sculpted on so it still has the same issues that all the other Grogu's have other than that there's really not much to talk about with Grogu he's basically just a tiny tiny little figure and that is something to take note so with that out of the way guys let's actually get Grogu compared to other figures you may have in your collection and so here we have Grogu posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman here we have Grogu posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Masco 112 collector Popeye the Sailor Man here we have Grogu posed next to a Lightning Collection White Range and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And for one final comparison, here we do have Grogu posed next to the original Black Series Grogu, the Target Exclusive Grogu, and the Amazon Exclusive Grogu. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually have a look at Grogu's articulation. As little as he has, he still has articulation. He has a baldrin in the head which does let him look down a little bit. He can look up slightly can tilt his head side to side very minusculely and he does turn left and right he does have just swivel here at the shoulder so his arms do go up and they do go all the way around if you really want them to so you can actually get some posing out of Grogu you can see he's having a great time right there and then he does have some ball joints here in the wrist and that's the same for both arms now other than that Grogu does not have any other points of articulation and I am really thankful for that because that would be really tiny joints. So yeah, that's Grogu's articulation and that's the figure itself. So with that out of the way guys, let's actually get Grogu posed for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have the Star Wars Black Series Grogu pose for my final thoughts and overall uh, guy, there's no way to sugarcoat this guys. This is not a $25 figure. This is not a $20 figure. This is not even a $15 figure. This is a $10 figure at most. At, I mean, it's a really nice Grogu, but at the same time, there's no way that this is $25. There's no way that this figure took $25 to make. This figure probably cost like $5 to make. And even with all his accessories, 
it's still not worth the $25 price tag that this figure has. I mean, we've gotten Grogu's in the past with the Pram, especially with the Season 2 Mandalorian and the Target exclusives sets. This right here is basically just a cash grab from Hasbro. There is no reason why they couldn't throw this Grogu in with the Season 2 Mandalorian Deluxe Pack. I would have preferred that over paying $20, $25 for Grogu and $25 for another Mandalorian. It's just Mm, one of those things that Hasbro just kind of just pawned off on the fans and unfortunately I'm one of the few people that actually did buy this figure. Now I'm doing this just so you guys don't have to pick up this figure. This is not a figure worth picking up if you can avoid it. If anything you can still pick up the original Grogu figure which was known as a child on Big Bad Toy Store for seven dollars and you know what? That is probably just the exact same thing as this. It's not worth the cookies, the pram, or the Mythosaur pendant. It really isn't, guys. So if you can avoid this figure, absolutely 100% avoid this figure. Do not pick it up if you don't have to. If you want to pick up this figure, probably get it on sale. Or if you have like a gift card, even that, I still would use a gift card for maybe a, a plushie of Grogu. You probably would spend your money better that way. So yeah. Avoid this figure at all costs if you're a collector from Star Wars, unless it goes on sale for like 10 bucks. If it goes on sale for 10 bucks, definitely pick it up. But as it stands for full price, do not pay $25 for this figure. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as all my other Star Wars Black Series videos. Hopefully, you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you'd like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection, I'll gladly have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified anytime I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.